jockey William Buick continued his fine form as he scored a treble on the card at Windsor on Monday, most notably in the feature race of the day aboard She's Late, a handicap over an extended mile and three furlongs. His owner Michael Curdenine says he prefers a bit of cut in the ground, stays really well and he may even go hurdling. Buick completed his treble aboard investment expert in the closer, a handicap over an extended mile for trainer Jeremy Nasida, who scored an across-the-card double. The three-year-old in the purple and green won his maiden at Newmarket back in July, but was a beaten favourite last time out. The jockey's second winner came in the claimer aboard Well Painted. And now very wide investment expert. They've got 100 yards ahead of them now. Out in front, it is just Legal Ways. Legal Ways clinging to the lead. Investment expert coming late. Here comes the line. Very close between investment expert. Could be a treble. For All eyes were on Nathaniel's half-brother throne room in Division 2 of the Maiden over one mile and one furlong. But the evens favourite was denied by Ed Dunlop's smart prospect, Oasis Fantasy. The half-brother to elusive Pimpernel in the red and yellow colours finished fourth of ten in a Nottingham maiden in August and has improved considerably to win under Andrea Atzani, who said he was a bit green but he stayed on really, really well and will be even better next year. Between them is Throne Room, these are the first three. Staying on next is Golden Journey, then on the wide outside is Berry Pacer, trying to weave through Oasis Fantasy. It's wide open with 100 yards to go. Throne Room taken on by Oasis Fantasy. Oasis Fantasy and Andrea Ancini win. Throne Room in second, Glasgow... Philip Hyde recorded his first two-year-old winner when Master Dancer got the better of odds on favourite Be Seeing You in Division 1. The two-year-old Grey was one of the more experienced in the field, having finished fourth on both of his starts. He appreciated the step up in trip from seven furlongs, and Philip Hyde thinks he has a nice future ahead of him. Master Dancer still has the lead over B seeing you in second. There's still a length between these two. They've got 150 yards to go. Master Dancer, B seeing you, tries to lunge down the outside. It will be close as they race up towards the line. Master Dancer game to hold on over B seeing you. And then... Mark Johnston's newcomer Loud with the white face was back from sevens into seven to two before the off and justified that support to take the six furlong maiden in the hands of informed jockey Adam Kirby who said he's still babyish but will come on for the run and will be a nice horse. And it is Loud who just has the lead over Joyous in second. Pearl Angel trying to rally and then staying on his Poyle Vinny but racing up towards the line. It is Loud, yet another winner for Mark Johnston. Two wins already at Pond... Bounty Hunter in the pale blue colours appreciated the step back in trip to five furlongs to hold off a strong challenge from Trinity River. Jockey Jack Durham was riding his first winner for trainer Tom Dascombe, taking a valuable five off. He was delighted with the victory and said the drop back to five suited him as he has lots of initial speed. They're racing down now towards the final furlong. It's still Trinity River and Bounty Hunter. These two have locked horns right from the get-go. Staying on his fin flash. Down the wide outside, I see mist. Bounty Hunter, Trinity River, racing to the line. Bounty Hunter! Bounty Hunter! Meanwhile, Jeremy Nasida's first winner of the day was at Wolverhampton when he struck with hot favourite Expect in the Jubilee Park colours. The two-year-old daughter of Invincible Spirit looked promising on her debut at Yarmouth when second and shrugged off her rivals easily here under Ryan Moore. And Expect is in control, beginning to draw away from Angel Floors and Big Bone. And Expect will deliver at the second time of asking. First one of the week for the former champion, Expect wins from Angel Floors. Close.